Hi Capricorn, welcome to your September 2019 general tarot reading. It's Rena here. I'm going to be um, doing my typical uh, tarot spread and then I am going to pick a card from the Earth Magic deck by Stephen Farmer who I believe was once married to Doreen Virtue, fun little factoid. Oh, I got her again. <laughs> Can't get away from her. But at least she's in the upright position. We got two fire energies to end with. Okay, what do we got here? Heart of the Matter, the Queen of Swords. This is a woman, I mean, this could definitely be you, even though you're connected to pentacles. But you might just be, to me, this woman is trying to make a decision. Um, I'm sure that's not always the case, but it's like, I need to... I need to not allow my emotions to get the best of me so I can make the best decision possible. And, um, you know, we have two cards here, one of them the lovers, so obviously I do automatically go to choosing between two relationships. Um, but even like, if this is a workplace matter, um, you may be like at a crossroads in your career. And um, in the past position here, we have the strength card. So there is that feeling of your self-esteem being high. And maybe it wasn't always th that case that, that, you were, that you felt like that, Capricorn. Maybe you've had success in recent years that has boosted your sense of your capabilities and now you're not really taking a lot of um, crap from anybody and you don't you don't believe that you're not deserving of the best and so you're in this heightened state where you feel that you are good enough and doggone at people like you remember that <laughs> um, you're good enough, you're smart enough, and doggone it, people like you. And uh, that was Stuart Smalley. Um, but the strength card is connected to Leo. So there might have been some developments. Um, actually, now that I think about it, um, trying to... Yeah. Um, cancer... Yeah, we, we've been going through, at this particular juncture... This, these energies in Leo, I'm recording this during the sun in Leo. And um, you're somebody who is, one thing that you have in common with the sign of Leo, by the way, is um, that desire for excellence and success. Now you may go about it differently and you may have different end games for what you want to do with your success, what it means to you. But I do feel like um, a Leo person in your life, uh, you know, Leo and Capricorn form an in conjunction. They're 150 degrees apart, which makes some kind of oddball signs. But I do draw similarities between some of these oddball combinations and if you were to have somebody in your life like a Leo I feel like that person could help you to achieve success and so I would never like um, kind of like look down on that union but if it was I, I will say one thing it's possible that if, if you're like um, let's say that you are trying to steal yourself, if that's what the, the Queen of Swords is, into leaving a relationship with that person, they gave you that sense of strength, um, confidence in your, at least business-wise. 
<clears throat> and so you have them to thank uh, for that. Um, if the Queen of Swords is like your supervisor, you may feel like um, you're deserving of some kind of um, raise or promotion. And you may not, uh, this person may be kind of not really tuning into you emotionally. And they're just kind of looking at things from um, the bottom line perspective of like what's good for them and their, and their best interests. And that could be frustrating for you. The higher message is represented by the lover's card, which does kind of like underscore the need to make a choice. And as the spiritual message, it's kind of like, to me, almost like a test where, you know, talking about that strength card where um, you're like, you're like good to go. And you may have if this is like a workplace situation, you may have needed this experience, even if it's ending unsatisfactorily, where you don't like um, what's going on at the moment. It still was something that was like a stepping stone for you to do other things. And it still is something that you should be grateful for that you um, had the experience and and same thing if the the strain if there's somebody in your past that you're leaving that person helped you in some way it may not have turned out to be what you were looking for because a lover's card for your romantic things this is the real deal this is like um this isn't just pragmatic you know coupling this is like two peas in a pod uh, type of a, a deep love for one another and maybe you didn't have that with that other person but they still gave you something valuable what crosses you is the emperor card and it's so funny because I have always thought that the emperor should be Capricorn and not Aries now if this is an Aries person that you're leaving there you go uh, so it's just showing you that you're making the right choice um, but to me the the emperor in the challenge position is if you feel like kind of uncertain about your life because you have, there's a lot of change going on and we don't even know, need to go into that. I can just, you know, kind of talk about the eclipses in your sign and in your opposite sign of cancer uh, last month and, or, or, you know, I'm recording this in August, so in July and just Pluto in your sign for <laughs> For how many years now? Um, 11 or so. Um, Saturn in your sign. All these you know, south node in your sign. So you you have like all these things that you you have to contend with. And and that can make you very controlling. I noticed that about myself. And I'm not a, I'm a Sagittarian. But this is true of human nature. That people tend to become more controlling when they feel out of control. And so it's something to resist. To to like kind of like notice and um, make a point to not get caught up in because it can create problems, you know, it has a ripple effect with other people, people don't like to be controlled. And then for yourself, you know, it also letting go of rigid attitudes that have, you know, developed because of resentment about the way that you have been treated. And maybe you have a good reason to feel resentful Maybe people have done you wrong, but you know what? Maybe that strength card is like strength and adversity. Like, um, it kind of like forced you to toughen up and, and therefore you're like in a better position now. What's coming in is represented by the page of wands. Start spreading the news. Good news coming your way and this should be uplifting your spirit so especially if you're kind of like uh oh you know what is going on what am I you know what's my next move going to be and feeling that that because remember that the lunar eclipse in your sign was in was in July and so if we're talking about September you could still be kind of like 
dealing with the aftermath of that, of this major ending in your life, but you still don't know like where you're going. Well, the outcome is the Knight of Wands. You're kind of like, you know, sowing your oats, so to speak. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not talking about, um, I mean, maybe, maybe you're doing that uh, romantically, but what I'm talking about is that you're becoming more adventurous. You're taking more risks. You're not, you're kind of being more freewheeling and not worrying about tomorrow, but just thinking of today. And that's, you might not be that way forever, but that's a great attitude to adopt because it helps you to loosen up. And when you loosen up, you let go of resistance. When you let go of re resistance, things that you want can flow easily to you. Okay, Capricorn? So that's what I have for you. And, oh, lest I forget, let's do one of these Earth magic cards. And you're Earth sign, so this will be really good. Oh, no! I got this for the third time in all the readings I've done so far. <laughs> uh, and you know what? For you, this may really be something that you had to deal with. This is something that, you know, again, with the eclipse season. I'm going to read the explanation from the book. You are getting a wake-up call. It may be in the form of a significant loss or other dramatic event in your life, typically one that you were not prepared for initially. You may feel stunned at first, surprised by the unexpected events that are occurring. Yet, you also know that it is time to draw back the curtain of avoidance and denial and confront the truth that exists in the subtext of this event. You are experiencing a real-life drama, so there is no need to amplify it more than it already is. Often when you look back at something that like this has passed, after something like this has passed, you can recall signs that foreshadowed it happening. There may have been obvious clues that you ignored or omens that were so subtle that were, they were easy to dismiss as imaginings of the mind rather than the voice of your instinct. There are many anecdotes about animals operating purely on instinct, picking up on clues and naturally seeking higher ground before an approaching tsunami reaches the land. To negotiate this wake-up call, listen closely to your instincts while at the same time seeking the higher ground of spiritual truth. So again, you know, because of the eclipses, this may be something that has already occurred that um, you were kind of like taken by surprise. And, you know, it's all good. Um, you'll get through it and life will go on and, and everything will be okay. So it's, it's life has changed. There's no getting around that. The more that we can initiate the change, I think the better because then we... Um, have more control over the outcome. But it's hard to initiate change because you you fear the unknown, right? So it's kind of like paradoxical. But anyway, I hope that you got something from this. If you would like a personal reading, most of my readings are, you know, using your natal chart. So it's specific to you. These are, these are like general readings. Um, please Check out my website, rainamoonastrology.com. The link to my website, my online store is below. Take care. Bye.